Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mitlook with your host Nitin Nair. As always we begin by extending a huge thank you to all our subscribers, listeners, viewers etc who take time out to not only watch our videos, listen to our podcast but also get back to us and comment on our videos telling us how we can improve and where we've been doing great. For all those who've not subscribed, a quick press of the subscribe button lets the YouTube algorithm know that these videos need to reach out to a lot more people who love mythology as much as you and I. Thank you once again and now to the video. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a character from Greek mythology of whom we are all very familiar with. It's a hybrid character associated with snakes and turning into stone. This is none other than Medusa. In Greek mythology, Medusa is the only mortal of the Gorgons. She is the sister of Eurylle and Steno and were born to the sea god Phorkys and Keto, who is the goddess of the sea monsters. In the Gorgony, Hesoid states that Medusa and her sisters lived beyond Oceanus and they are often mentioned together. However, it is the titular Medusa who is the most commonly depicted in both art and literature. The word Medusa is derived from the verb to protect and it's fitting since the Gorgon, also known as Gorginian, is apotropaic. Her death is most commonly depicted in the story of Perseus who bought her upon and killed her using the help of Athena and Hermes. The earliest known version of her death is in Theogony by Hesoid. It features the decapitation of Medusa and the birth of her children Pegasus and the great Chrysodor. The mention of the Gorgon's head in Homer's Odyssey and the Iliad suggests that the story of Medusa has been around for a long time. Usually, Medusa's head is depicted in art and she has a broad face with various features such as snakes for hairs and tusks. Although she is typically regarded as ugly, one myth states that her great beauty was the reason why all observers were paralyzed by her appearance. Scholars believe that her grotesque form is a representation of a partially decapitated human skull. The image of Medusa was believed to be protective. Various vessels, bronze shields and statuary have been made with depictions of her. Medusa was one of the three sisters of the Gorgons and she was the only one who wasn't immortal. Various sources claim that she was a child of Gaia and Keto and is believed that she was born somewhere at sea. According to the Greek poet Hesoid, she resided near the Hesperides at Sarpedon. Historian Herodotus also stated that she was in Libya. Although she had a secret affair with Poseidon, she is generally regarded as an unmarried goddess. It is believed that she gave birth to the great Pegasus and the hero of the Golden Sword, Chrysodor, as a result of her affair with Perseus. One version of the Medusa story states that she was a pretty young woman who became one of Athena's priestesses. The priestesses would commit their lives to her, but Medusa then fell in love with Poseidon and they got married. Another version of the story states that Athena was angered by the actions of her priestess and she was turned into a hideous creature with her powers. Medusa lost all of her features due to the snakes growing in her hair. Athena then made Medusa aware of her presence so that suitors would turn to stone if they saw her. She spent her days wandering the earth separated from her sisters. Some of Medusa's snakes fell to the ground as she travelled. According to the legend, this caused the number of snakes in the desert to increase. Some of the most prominent artists who have been influenced by the story and Medusa include Leonardo da Vinci, Auguste Rodin and Peter Paul Rubens. The image of Medusa is also widely recognized in popular culture. The story of Medusa has gained a renewed popularity since it was featured in the movies Clash of the Titans of 1981 and Percy Jackson and the Olympians in 2010. She has also appeared in various video games and TV shows. Various bands and artists have also memorialized 
Medusa in their songs. For instance, Annie Lennox and the Anthrax have featured her in their songs, and the design house that made Medusa head claimed that it was chosen because it represented philosophy, art, and beauty. Medusa is again one of those characters in Greek mythology who was cursed by the gods to become hideous and start creating havoc among the human race. The fact that Perseus managed to kill her and the story that goes about his bravery in escaping her deadly stare and turning into stone, especially by using his shield as a reflective tool, is very popular among most historians and mythology lovers. The story of Medusa has parallels in many other stories in mythology from around the world where the single gaze of a woman can turn you into stone. We will be looking at similar characters from other mythologies in our future videos. And until then, this is your host, Nitin Nair, signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.